I'm here with the new Motorola Zoom. It's the first tablet for Motorola and also the first Honeycomb tablet. That's the new operating system specifically designed for tablets from Google. You actually get a high definition resolution or a 16 by 9 screen on the Zoom. And the reason they did that is so that you can watch high definition video. It's actually 16 by 10. The reason is is because there's this bottom bar right here which is all the navigation buttons that you'll need. The tablet comes with a front facing 2 megapixel camera and a rear facing camera as well. The front-facing camera allows you to chat over uh, Verizon's network. You can chat directly with, uh, with your friends using Google Talk. So like all tablets, there's going to be a book feature. And the interface is actually kind of interesting, where you can flip through pages. For common tasks, Honeycomb comes with these five latest tasks, which is something similar uh, to what you can do by holding down your home button on an Android phone. Uh, this gets back to the last five tasks, and sometimes these might even be tasks that are currently running. Google did a nice job at allowing uh, every kind of user to access this. It's very, very easy to use. One thing I didn't really like about this was that there aren't a lot of hard keys, and the bottom bar is always there. So if you're trying to go back, if you're trying to go forward, you're always going to need to sort of try to find the buttons. This is definitely a consumer device. I think that business people would like this because it's got that video chat capability, but right now that exists through Google Talk, which is really a consumer way of, uh, of communicating. I actually like this a little bit better than the iPad. Its screen is a lot easier to type on. It's the right size. The iPad, if you've ever tried to watch a high definition video on, will have bars, uh, black bars on the top and the bottom because it's not actually high definition sized. It's got a bigger hard drive. It will be able to convert to 4G soon. Obviously, the iPad 2 is coming out in just a couple weeks, so we'll have to wait and see what the improvements are on that device to really compare. But right now, you got to give the edge to the Motorola Zoom.